Uh, latest from Candace Owen. You know, we, we track here two important personalities on the right. Uh, I like to track uh, Tucker Carlson, who, by the way, has been uh, going on all kinds of talk shows and talking about his uh, mystical aliens. Uh, the last one was recently where he said, look, all the, all the religions have these mystical beings, not just God, but all these other angels and other things that exist. Maybe there's something to it, probably is something to it. I certainly believe there is something to it, he says. Uh, he doesn't have to investigate anymore. There are aliens among us, but they're not aliens from another planet. They're aliens from another, from the domain of God, I guess, and the domain of a different dimension, and they live among us, and they manipulate what is going on, and, and the elites or the authorities or government or somebody knows about this and hiding that information from us. And luckily, Tucker Carlson is here to share this with us. I mean, it is truly stunning how sane, yeah, sane, uh, Fox News actually kind of made Tucker. They, 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 I, get, I guess, restricted his complete insanity from taking over. And now that he's independent and he can say whatever he wants, um, he is truly nuts. I mean, truly nuts. So uh, you should you should go check out check out Tucker Carlson talking about aliens uh, in another dimension, interdimensional beings who travel, I guess, between God's dimension and our dimension or whatever. The the mystical beings they're not they're not space aliens. They're not travelers in space. Um, pretty amazing. Anyway, Candace Owen, not to not to not to again now that she's been liberated from Daily Wire, not to. Um, uh, you know, be outshone by Tucker Carlson. This is a tweet as of uh, on June 5th. Uh, this is a tweet. The older I get, the more absurd the concept of dinosaurs roaming the earth until a great big meteor hit becomes to me. <laughs> oh, my God. So I don't know what I'm making that. I mean, it could be that uh, uh, Candace Owen is challenging the idea of a meteor being the cause of the disappearance of the dinosaurs. I, I mean, I'm interested in seeing what the alternative hypothesis is. I'm certainly not committed to the idea that the dinosaurs disappeared because a meteor, I, I don't know, that sounds like the most reasonable conclusion, but maybe it was COVID, maybe it was a virus, maybe it was who knows what it was. Uh, but I, I, I do think um, that that is not what Candace is talking about. I, I do think that the part Candace is challenging now that she's older, wiser, has thought about this more, and, and that she's challenging the very existence of dinosaurs. A friend of mine once told me, this is towards the end of our friendship, as our friendship was diminishing, <laughs> uh, he told me as he was becoming more religious, uh, he, he used to, was an objectivist and then turned a, a super Jewish religious, he said that basically dinosaur bones were planted all over, uh, all over the world by God in order to test man. Um, dinosaurs never existed. The earth is not as old as people think it is. Uh, it's, it's what, according to the Jews, it's 5,500 and something years old, something like that. And God, according to the ultra-Orthodox, nutty, nutty, uh, parts of the Jewish religion. Um, God actually, he's not a prankster, it's not a prank. It's a test of faith, right? So all of you people, Christians, trying to say, no, dinosaurs are consistent with God and consistent with God's plan. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of Jews say, well, seven days in the Bible, it took him to create uh, the earth until he created man. Seven days days in Genesis are not the same as seven days today. Seven days in Genesis are like a million years each. All of that, the real religionists, the committed ones, I guess Candace, all of that are like, come on, people, why are you, why are you doing this? No, the Bible says seven days. That's it. It's seven days. Stop this attempt to appease the secularists by trying to present the Bible and uh, 
and God and, and, and the miracles as rational. Yeah, Frank, here goes Frank. He says, Earth is four and a half billion years old. I mean, that is just a, a scientist's lie um, in order to undermine religion and true faith and the truth. The reality is the Earth is only 5,500 and something years old, whatever the number is. Somebody might know in the chat. And, um, and everything else is just God testing you, testing you. And because you failed, Frank, because you failed, uh, you are going to hell. So an eternity of damnation. I was just listening to, uh, to uh, one of my new favorite books. I, I think I've talked about this, the uh, closing of the, no, the reopening of the Western mind, um, which I really like. Uh, it, it, of course, it's, it's, uh, it, it, it's positive because it's a reopening. Um, but it is, uh, it is really fascinating and really good. And I, you remember I talked about this a few months ago, and then I took a break to prepare for my Jordan Peterson courses on capitalism and finance. I, I listened, instead of that book, to a bunch of books on capitalism and finance just to brush up and to get uh, ready. And um, uh, anyway, uh, uh, it's, I, I'm back to it now, and I'm, I'm again really enjoying it. And uh, I just listened this morning to the section while I was on the elliptical, listened to uh, his discussion of Dante's Inferno. Uh, so, uh, you know, you scientists, scientists, whatever, you believers in science, I'm, you're, you're on some rung of hell. I'm not sure which rung of hell, but certainly some rung of hell um, uh, out there. Anyway, yes, uh, um, uh, it, it truly is stunning. Candace Owen, a hero to some of you and a heroine to, I think, many in the movement on the right, at least up until recently. Maybe still, still. I mean, she's got a huge, massive following. Um, it's not sure about dinosaurs now that she's gained wisdom through age. Maybe she should have stayed young. Maybe she should have stayed young. <laughs> 